All right then, here we are on to the next part. And it is titled, A Cafe Full of Services. Let's get to it. Here you go, master. And here you go, ladies. Now please relax and enjoy your stay. Meow. Hmm. So this is one of those maid cafes I've heard about. Don't come to my part of the world. <laughs> you impressed me once again, master. While I was busy trying to work out why the maids here dressed up like cats, you just started enjoying your drinks without batting an eye. You can't come to Akibahara without visiting one of these cafes. They're one of its trademarks. My old princess identity has kind of been into the background ever since I came to Chaldea. You already got so many princesses there, so it's not really as special. But here, I'm still technically a princess. The fact she said technically there doesn't really help her case. Umu. While well, being waited on hand and foot by beautiful matrons, of course, nothing new for me. There's something agreeable about this place. I actually used to live in an apartment that looked a lot like this, but it feels pretty different when it's open for business. Honestly, it's a little hard for me to relax here. I feel the same way. Maybe it's because I'm just not used to the culture. And actually, it's Speaking of culture... I suppose I shouldn't be surprised at this point to see moving dolls working here too. The other customers don't seem to think anything of them, so I guess they're just a fact of life here. They almost look as though they were made to work here. I suppose that's one more criterion by which to judge a creature's skill. That's very fizzy. Not a big fan of fizz myself. Carbonation. Bleh. Oh, is the cream soda not your thing? If you like, I can trade you my orange juice for it. Don't worry, I haven't touched it yet. No. Oops. Um, no, that's alright. I was just surprised because I've never had anything like this before. These bubbly drinks are strange, but very tasty. At any rate, there's one thing in particular we need to confirm right now. Maybe one of the, uh, maids can help us. Um, excuse me, could I ask you something? Meow. Sorry. You need a ticket to talk to cast member. Meow. Oh, uh, no, I didn't mean like that. We were told there's an event here where we can earn lots of points? One explanation later? And that's all there is to it. It might be kind of tough, but that also means you can get lots of points. And this event's always going on. Just let one of us know if you'd like to try it, meow. And if you find you enjoy it, you can even start working here yourselves, which would be awesome. Then the rest of us can kind of cut back on our hours and... Um, I mean, never mind. This event definitely isn't also a way to try and recruit new employees, meow. <laughs> bye bye I see. I never would have guessed this event was a maid-off. So to compete, we have to work as maids here ourselves for a set length of time. When we're done, the customers vote for a winner, and we get the points if we beat the girls who work here. That is tough. You need to have a natural knack for this kind of job, or you'll never be able to beat the, well, pros who work here. Then we'll just have to call in our own pro maids. I'm guessing Tamamo Cat? Yes. Don't worry, this cat's coming in the bag. Woof. I've never been here before. Of course, my killer hospitality techniques will still knock them dead. Also, probably made Alter and. Maybe a Sulfur? That said, I'm afraid I'll have to dress other people as Master for a while, Master. That's the one rule no maid cafe can break after all. 
What's more, cats are naturally fickle creatures, especially when cat is involved. As the greatest man in the world, I of course make it a point to only serve those I deem worthy. But under the circumstances, I suppose I can play along. I do mean play, or I'll not be taking this work seriously. I also expect to be fully compensated. My usual fee will do. You have them my Swiss bank account. Yes? You want me to do this too? I mean, I do have some service entry skills, like my espionage work. But still. That's weird. I know it should be all just tasks, but I can't shake this uneasy feeling I have. Well, we know they have the skill, so we'll just have to trust the, that to be enough to carry them through this. <laughs> you guys do seem like you know what you're doing, but being a maid at that maid cafe is a whole other boggy. What she said, don't think that just being maids alone would be enough to beat us. Oh man, they sound really confident. Get them, girls! Oh, I will, will you not? Now. Which target do I take out first? I'm starting to get really worried about this. Welcome back, Master. Would you like to scratch my fluffy ears? Squeeze my toe beans? Or maybe fluff my fur? Oh, right. This cafe is strictly hands off, so never mind. In the meantime, how about joining the nice cold menu? Woof. The rule of this cafe is drink or die if you value your life. Make sure you start with one of our more expensive drinks. Food. Don't be ridiculous. Every bit of oil you consume, you track that much from your lifespan. Be content with moderation, or my drink finger may get itchy. Ooh, this is nice. I wonder if that qualifies as good, but it's definitely novel. She's so wild. I can't tell if she's a dog or a cat. And a cold-blooded hitmate, huh? I've definitely never seen anything like them before. Huh. Looks like the customers are actually digging it. And I think the advice I gave to Dion is working too. Here's the cake set you ordered, ladies. And, um, ahem. <clears throat> the secret ingredient is all my love. <laughs> well, let's keep this between us, okay? We don't want the manager finding out after all. I can never say that. <laughs> Yeek, this is it. A beautiful boy disguising himself as a woman. I'm the only one who knows his secret. It's always just like I dreamed. Oops. Oh, this is bad. This is so bad, but so good. I know I shouldn't, but I can't help it. Ugh. So which is it? Good or bad? Anyway, I'm not sure what to make of a sake baby made advice. She told me to put my Mac inside. But the customers really do seem to like it. Fascinating. I feel I could learn a lot about how to better manipulate people like from this. So, does it seem like they can win then? Oh, well... Okay, here comes the happiness spell. Akibala. <laughs> Thanks for coming, everyone. I'm so glad to see you. I hope you have lots and lots of fun with us today. Woo, you bet we will! This doesn't change the fact that we're fighting them on their home turf. Not only will gain us some ground, but I don't think it will be enough to bring home a win. Uh, is there anything we can do? Um, what do you think, Machan? Try and think trying to beat them at their own game is a losing battle. You're right. Yosh. Let's bring in more reinforcements. We need to play this game on Kalia's terms. In fact, I had a feeling this might happen, so I've had our secret weapon on standby. Whether it's combat catering or anything else, in the end, the only thing you can really trust are tried and true techniques and your inner state of mind. Battle between maids is a battle of hospitality. See who can boast best one over the customer's Kokoro. And we happen to know one of the top hospitality pros in the business. In fact, you could chase these ultimate Japanese maid. I'm drawing a blank. Oh, Benny Ime. Benny Enema. Meet her? That's right, Miss Benny. Would it mean a whole lot to us if you could help us out here? 
She must be serious. She's practically begging. <laughs> She's acting like a whole different person. Only if you have the time, of course. I don't... Alright, Master. Customer service usually isn't supposed to be competitive. But if you need my help, I can't turn you down. Besides, if they lose, we will reflect badly on Kalia's hospitality as a whole. I certainly can't have that chirp. Perking up? <laughs> yes, between her girlish looks, her classic uniform, and her Jikoku hospitality, this Madoff's as good as ours. Sorry, kid. I can't let you work here. They got laws against child labor, you know. <laughs> I guess she does look a bit young. What? No, curse you, labor laws. <laughs> I'm not ready to give up yet. It's calling someone else. Really? Do you ever know of another maid who moved both of our chances? Here you be here at a moment's notice? Who could it be? Bodica's maternal instincts are just what we need. I wonder who the black haired twister and gal well black gal is obvious, but I wonder who the black haired twister was. Hmm. Huh? You want me to be a maid? No way, I can't. Sure, I can carry food and wait tables easily enough. But I don't have anything in common with kids these days, so I can't imagine I'd be able to entertain them. Huh? I'd have to try and match your interest? I'd just have to be my usual motherly self? Really? Well, if you're sure, if I have my doubts, they're going to be happy with that. I hope we don't have her as a... Uh, oh, oh, required unit. Well, hopefully this turns out well. ルール<笑> Oh, 
またのお越しをお客様でも。Again, are you sure you love the game? Having to be nice for the most part. But I might have been a little harsh on the kids who kept acting up. Huh? That was actually perfect? Really? It's a real nightmare, but at least we won. Way to go! Yes, it's amazing that you all managed to outdo the professional remains on their home turf. I don't know how much credit we can take, since the challenge only lasted for a short time compared to the made shifts. I think we didn't have to save our energy as much. Agreed. To be honest, I'm not sure we would have won if there had been a little more time on the clock. It's a good thing you called those reinforcements as quickly as you did, Master. I'm just glad I didn't keep a close eye on you. You, you're in contest for nothing, chirp. Yeah, thanks for helping them out like that. What Master said, Wolf. We all knew we had to be on our best behavior with Miss Benyen while watching us. It's a good thing you called on me instead of my original. The most she could have done from Spenny's watchful gaze is freeze up with her tail sticking out. Sounds like it was a very hard thought victory then. Yes, it does. Our opponents don't seem all the troubled by their loss either. At least if that bubbly constellation party they're from is any indication. I bet they're getting a bunch of additional orders out of this. And of course, if they had won, they'd be holding a victory party instead. So this is how the house always wins. Is something wrong? No, I was just looking at the doll mixed in with the people. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize that I stopped finding dolls like that unusual. It still feels weirdly natural, even though I know in my head that this kind of thing can only happen here in the singularity. There's something else I've been wondering about. Did someone used to love that doll? Or did the King of Figures simply decide to give her life and send her out into town? Why not ask? They certainly see in a talkative mood. Mm. You there, Magia. Answer my question. Oh, she's a spinning image of Nero, isn't she? Yeah, yeah. I heard she was born the King of Figures Palace. Place. <laughs> I'd say that's probably true for most of the dolls around Akihabara. Akihabara. Bringing one you love to see the King of Figures and having them make up for humans a nice deal and all. But it sounds like it's real tough to actually make that happen. I do hear a bunch of guys have made their life's ambition to get up there and see him. But I see most getting carried off to the hospital after trying and failing to make their way up this his tower. So this king of figures is sending hundreds of living dolls to this town. And is conditioning the people here to accept this state of affairs as natural. Why would he do such a thing? What could he be thinking? I do not know, which is all the more reason for us to meet with him and ask. Do not worry, even every step brings us closer to him. Yes, that's true. Uh, I'm sure all will be clear once we meet him. And do not forget, you can always capture that imposter of mine and make her talk as well. Hmm? Why are you smiling? Did I say something odd? No, it's just, whenever I look at you, I find myself smiling. You are always so cheerful. I apologize if my doing so made you uncomfortable. Hmm, that's quite alright. I am the Emperor of the Beautiful Red Rose, after all. I am renowned in Rome for my ability to cure any malady. The afflicted need only lay eyes on me or to be so. By all means, continue to shower me for adoration. Oops. <sighs> Stupid internet connection. One moment. Oh. 
Alright, next onto the fluff. And we are back at the arcade this time. Meanwhile, I've seen many students over the course of my life, and to teach them effectively, the first thing I need to do develop was a keen eye. Though children have almost limitless potential, they cannot master all possibilities within their mortal lifespans. And so, I had to learn how to quickly discern what a particular child was good at. Things such as what natural talents they held, what aptitudes they possessed, how they changed as they grew, and what manner of teaching they would best respond to. Though of course, a child's own wishes played the largest part in informing what sort of person they would ultimately grow up to become. But I digress. My point is, as far as I can tell, number five and eight appear to be solid bets. Are they using their skills to bet? <laughs> nay, hey, are you sure about that? As Lu Bu, I may have lost my personal assessments to my self destructive tactician in chief, but I lack in discernment, I make up in for one wild nature. I decide based on feeling rather than logic. My instinctual grasp of a situation speaks far louder than words. All my feelings and instincts are telling me that with those determined eyes, power of limbs, and gallant gait, number three and six are definitely the way to go. Hmm. Far beat me from denying your method of ascertainment. Indeed, I find it fascinating. Still, the fact remains that regardless of what we say, only the fates know the outcome. All we do now is wait and see what happens. And that's for sure. Here goes. It's a close race. We're at the gate. Uh oh, but what's this? One of them is already falling behind. <laughs> I'm talking about children, not horses. Wow. <laughs> yeah, what? But my calculation said the one coin would go that way, one other went this way. Which was supposed to cause a coin avalanche that put me on Easy Street. And I was going to laugh heartily while mocking these ignorant fools. In fact, I already started the laughing part. Gah, this can only be the mush prank some other low minded divinity. Well, it can't be me that easily. I'm going to that stack of coins, even if it cost me every coin I already have. Besides, the more I put in, the more I'm bound to get back. That's just logic. Jaguar logic. It can't be. I was so close. So tantalizingly close. <laughs> Another ten. No five coins. I'm sure the fat stack of them would have been mine. <laughs> I overheard the whole thing. Who's damn meow? I'm here on behalf of the Caesar coin lender Akihabara branch. He's doing a scam. Obviously gonna be a scam. <laughs> eh, Caesar. We can lend you as many coins as you want need. Whenever you need them, I'll put any pesky guarantor or guarantees slowing things down. All you need to do is sign this contract, and you'll be on your way. Well, what do you say? Yikes, Sam. Um, no, no thanks. Smart. Now, now, I'll ask in a moment of your time. I understand concerns, but think of it like this. Any concerns you may have about taking on debt will surely vanish when you hit the jackpot, won't they? I just imagine how it'll feel when you finally knock down that tower and claim all those shiny coins for yourself. What's a little compound interest next to that kind of pure joy? What? So this is how being drawn into a spider's webs feel. Stop that. Coin lending is against the rules. I was just running a little social experiment. I swear, your lot are even more stubborn than my old senators. Whoa, I didn't think a guy that big could book it that fast. Oh, come back. Well, 
I guess I have no choice. I'll just have to prowl the floor for every stray coin I can find. <laughs> Looks like that's not like that's against real soon. Hmm. These peeping and blooping things aren't the kind of games I was expecting to find here. Are they not your thing? Oh, it's not that. Video games are still games. I played them with Lady Batty numerous times. I especially like the ones where you get to cut off your enemies' heads. You can never have too many opportunities to do that. Why am I not surprised? But some of this spirit warden always takes me back to the time I spent training on Mount Krama. Maybe that's why I gravitate towards more physically active games. The kind of game where you move your body until you're gasping for breath. You can feel the delectable sensation of your heart pounding, and that glorious ache in your muscles. That is what I consider a true game right now. I see. In that case, why don't we try this? Hmm? I don't see any blinking lights or screens on it. Looks like a fairly ordinary table. I get it. You want to arm wrestle? Fine with me. What? No, why would you even think that? Think about challenging dainty prepubescent girls on a contest of pure strength. This is an air hockey table. The objective of the game is to... One explanation later. Oh, now I see. Yes, that does sound like something I would enjoy. Let's give it a shot. Sure, what do we do about teens? We could play doubles once Mew gets back to the drinks. Right now, we only have three players. Well, since she walked in ours, never played before, why don't you join her team and we play two on one? I guess we could do that. But she's still way more luck than either of. I guess she does do that for her noble fandom. You cloned yourself? There. A little too new shadow cloning. We can all play on equal ground. You really didn't have to go that far. Oh, but I do. I swore back on Mount Carmel. I would take, always take my playtime seriously. Otherwise, it wouldn't be good training. Besides, I would hate to waste this chance for us to play together on an unfair fight. Now, let's play some doubles. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't see why not. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> that noise. Gah, yeah, how are you so fast? Haha, <laughs> no need to hold back my account, you two. I'm starting to get the hang of this. Damn, she needs business. Elia, I said go ahead and do your secret transformation now. Huh? Why? I mean, I know my hand at coordination be keeping up, but still. That's part of it, but that part is you just aren't strong enough to return our shots. So you might just just need to boost your strength with magical girl power. Oh, but we don't want the puck to go flying too far and hit a random stranger. Hmm. So let's put up a bound peel and act we powered ourselves up. Really? You have to go that far? Someone once told me to only be careful when facing a serious Genji. However, we may still not be going far enough. I just hope we can walk away from this intact when it's over. Hmm, this is fun. Feels like we're all batting away arrows on a battlefield. Interesting analogy. Miss one. And you might lose an eye. Miss two. And you might lose the use of your arms or a valued subordinate. Okay, now that I'm wearing the right mindset, here goes. Be ready, Ilya. Eep, eep. <laughs> hmm. I guess she was the one who gave the advice. 
Oh, wait then. Ah. And the craft defense. And, uh, next part will be all the, um, floors to next level. Enjoy or not. Toodles. <laughs>
弓の張りも上々では食らうとするか新名凍結展開これは多くの命多くの願いを受けた幻想の城こうせよモールだやめろさナム八幡大ボスこの矢を届けたまえノブノブノブノブ,ノブシステムアポロン起動トロイアスバレルチェックトロイアベラス状況終了排熱そして充電に移行しますねマスター決めるさ。愛と悪意を踏み越えて行くぞアースタロン締め切り3秒前飛びたプライハイ美しい勝利だ何事もスマートに行きたいものだよ一掘り,掘り着実に。
物好きどもめ地獄へ落ちろリアンを持ちなもう今かりへの時爆発であるいい時代だ資料集めにはことかかる損なうたびに思い出すのいいメルヘンマイネスレーベンス我が道具の題名はファーストコリオン敗北者の方々今のお気持ちを聞かせていただきたい見た見た勝ったうーんクロキアボーこの勝利を次に生かすのもいいが私は外さんか。落としがいのある首を共に打ちに運ぶが勝負どころかしこまりです歌え歌え我がペッククリスティンクリスティン私は世界を動かせずけれど世界は私を鈍らせるラン・レーブ・アンソレイへ一年寄進に通じる人の身とはなどを
ブリンダナ行くぞあ<音楽><音楽><音楽>